Hi guys, I wanted to do this video. It's sort of a day in the life. Come along with me as I do my routine that really just helps me to keep my house clean every day. So this is just my average day. I didn't show you my entire day. It's just um, basically my morning routine and just the different things that I do um, as I go about my morning and just um, cleaning up after myself and everything. And I just wanted to show you how establishing a routine like this will really help you not to have to spend a lot of time cleaning your house. And I plan to do um, a lot more videos along this line and um, I really hope that you find it helpful. So I am going to bring you along with me and just show you um, how I keep my house up and the routine that I follow and I hope that you find it helpful. I know we all have different lives and some of you might have little children at home and things like that. So I was thinking that I would do another video and just talk about some of the things that I did uh, when my children were younger, but I think you'll get a basic idea um, even if you do have smaller children now um, of what I did and, I, and I'll give some tips in another video of just kind of how I keep my house clean and how my routine was a little bit different. So let me know if that's something that you'll find helpful and um, I can do that video probably next week. So I hope you enjoy coming along with me and seeing my routine and definitely let me know what you think. When I start my morning routine or I start um, cleaning up my house for the day, I always start in the same spot and um, as you see some more of my videos when I talk about um, how I clean my house each day, each week and everything, you'll see that I always kind of do it in the same order. So I start upstairs which is the master bedroom and then I always go through the house in order and that just helps me have a routine and helps me kind of do the same things each day so I'm not just like running back and forth all over the house. So the first thing I do in cleaning up my house is make my bed and I'm not going to um, be able to show myself doing everything. I think you guys will kind of get the idea, but to set up the tripod and um, move it all over the house would just, you know, be a lot of work. So I'm just going to make my bed and open up my curtains to let the sunlight in. So just like two to three minutes later, my bed is made, all the pillows are back on the bed and it looks nice and pretty and my curtains are open to let the sunlight in and all that is really out of place in my room is a hanger that I need to take to the laundry room. So I'm going to go downstairs and continue my routine. Like I mentioned, I just kind of walk through my house and do everything in order. So this is the first room in my house and um, sometimes I just like straighten the pillows or whatever. Um, they're not messy, um, but sometimes, you know, they might be or I'll straighten up the coasters. But this room is nice and clean. Um, nothing's really out of place. The only thing that would really ever be in here um, is maybe like a blanket and I would just um, fold it and put it in that basket over there in the corner. Sometimes um, we read in here but we usually put our book away. So this room really stays clean. Um, just a matter of like straightening pillows or something. And then the next room is my son Joshua's room and my boys are at school. Um, they make their beds in the morning. Um, usually they open their curtains but they were kind of in a hurry this morning so I just um, open the curtains and just kind of put anything away that they might have left out. They're really pretty good. My son Josh just um, got his new shoes in the mail um, yesterday so he still has a box out and just a couple things. I'll usually just um, put that stuff away but this is really how they leave their room. Um, I, I've been asked about this a lot but um, really since they were very little, like toddlers, they've been making their own beds and putting their stuff away, so they're used to it, and we don't keep a lot of stuff, so their rooms don't get like overly messy. So that really only took a minute or two. I just um, opened up the curtain, straightened up a couple things, um, put a couple things away, which really wasn't a big deal, and that's a typical day. Usually um, they know to put their stuff away and they make their own beds and everything, and I just emptied his small trash can into the uh, kitchen garbage can. So I just go over to my son Christian's room 
And in his room, um, because he has this big mirror and the dresser is darker, it shows the dust. So I usually just grab this cloth and just wipe down his mirror really quickly. I'm in my gym clothes. <laughs> and um, then I wipe down the dresser just a little bit so that the dust doesn't build up. And the same thing in here, I just open up his curtains. Um, he has some water out, um, no big deal, and put you know cords and stuff away but it's really this is just a typical um day after they leave for school so this is what it looks like it takes me just a minute or two and it really wouldn't even be that bad if i just left it but i have ocd and i just have to have the curtains open <laughs> Again, it just took me a minute or two. I just wiped down the dresser really fast um, along with the mirror, straightened up a little bit, put his glass away, emptied the trash into the kitchen garbage, opened up the curtains. It really does not take long. And this is, like I mentioned, a typical day. They, they really are good about cleaning up after themselves and they um, separate their own laundry and they've been doing it for so long that it really isn't a battle for us anymore. Um, and yeah, they, they just kind of learn to clean up after themselves. I was asked about that a lot. So the next thing, um, I just wait to wait down the bathroom because I am going to the gym. And um, once I get ready and everything, I'll show you um, how I wait down our bathroom really fast. So I go into the kitchen and um, again, just open up the curtains. Um, one is open already. I have um, some chicken out. I'm going to actually record um, my recipe for marinating uh, chicken for fajitas. I just need to um, bring my crock pot downstairs, um, put away the coffee maker, and that's about it in here. Nothing um, really is out of place because we empty the dishwasher the night before and um, put everything away as we go. I have some hangers over here that I'm going to bring downstairs, and that's about it. So that just took a minute. I just had to empty my um, coffee filter and put a couple things away. Uh, really no big deal. And then I just have some things um, by the basement stairs that I'm going to take downstairs. Just some hangers that were in my boys' room um, in one of their closet closets actually. Um, I grabbed my Windex and my cleaner and my cloth uh, to clean the bathroom once my husband is done getting ready. And then I'm just going to put my crock pot down there. My husband is actually going to be working at home um, for a while today, so he has his stuff out, which is no big deal. Um, he had to run and um, get a few things from another uh, co-worker's house, so um, he'll be back in a little bit and he'll be working. And he is really good about putting his stuff away um, before he leaves um, to go on appointments, but he just had to run, run and get something, so I'm not going to do anything really over there. And then over here... We just have um, like blankets and stuff left f out from the night before. Sometimes we put them away before we go to bed, but sometimes we're just tired and I do it in the morning and it's really no big deal. So all I really need to do over here is just um, straighten up pillows and put them back and um, I fold up our blankets and just put them in this basket over here. So everything's back to where it should go and also I just have the same cloth that I used to wipe down my son Christian's mirror and I just wiped the TV really fast like really really quickly because it was a little bit dusty um, just some things show dust when they're dark and I just grab a cloth and wipe it really quickly so um, yeah that's all cleaned up it really only took me like two minutes and like I mentioned my husband's coming back to work so I'm not going to do anything over there Next, I just go into my laundry room, and I um, did some laundry yesterday. I usually try to do one load a day. Um, my dark basket is getting kind of full, so I'm just going to throw in one load of laundry and um, let it wash while I'm doing the rest of the things that I need to do around the house. The next thing I do is just grab any laundry that was hanging up from the day before. I always... Um, hang our pants and stuff to dry because I don't want them to shrink. We're all tall in our house so um, and it also saves money to just be able to hang it so I have that rod there to hang stuff and it's all dry so I'm going to um, just grab that and um, set it on the washer to uh, bring up when I go upstairs. So I just took my laundry down and I have it sitting on my dryer and I'll just grab that when I get ready to go upstairs. The next thing I'm going to do is just wipe down this bathroom really fast. So I brought my Windex and my cleaner down along with my cloth. I just wipe the mirror really fast. Then I 
Then I just spray the sink really well and the toilet and then I just wipe it out. And this just really keeps the bathroom from getting really gross so it's pretty much clean every day but it only takes me like a minute or two. I also just clean the toilet just really fast and this just prevents any you know build up or anything and then I just um, clean it with the toilet bowl cleaner once a week. Then I just spray the shower down really quickly with a vinegar and water mixture. So that's all clean. It really took like two minutes so um, nice and clean for the rest of the day. So now I'm just going to grab the laundry that I had sitting here and my cleaners and head upstairs. I'm back upstairs. I put the laundry away really quickly. I'm going to do some of my detailed cleaning. I usually spend like 10 to 15 minutes Monday through Friday on some detailed cleaning and I have my home broken up into different uh, zones and I work in one zone Monday through Friday. So this week I'm working in my son Joshua's room and I just have a few things to do. I'm going to um, just dust the ceiling fan, um, wipe down the baseboards, wipe down the walls, and a couple other like little small things. I have a list and um, I, I will discuss that more in future videos. So um, just some things that don't need to be done every week but they do need to be done, you know, every five or six weeks. So I'm gonna work on that. My laundry's all done, so I'm just going to throw it in the dryer and let it dry while I'm doing the rest of the things around the house. Okay, I just got done recording my chicken fajita recipe, and I try to always put the dishes in the dishwasher as I'm going. I just got done, so I'm just going to rinse these and put them in the dishwasher and wash my knife but as soon as I'm done I try to clean up after myself and put all my spices away and just um, put everything in the dishwasher and wash anything that I need to and that way it doesn't pile up and it only will take me a few minutes to do this so just really throughout the day I try to um, keep cleaning up after myself just so I don't accumulate a big mess so I'm back downstairs I worked out and took a shower and then um, Right after we shower or change, we always bring our laundry right down and separate it so we don't have a separate hamper or anything, and I've talked about that in other videos, but that way it's all separated, everyone does their own, and I can just throw it in when the basket gets full. And sorry, every time I've been down here, uh, my furnace is running, but it is really, really cold here, so hopefully I'm talking loud enough and I have the camera right by me, so you should be able to hear me, okay? So I took my laundry out of the dryer and I just have a little bit and I'm going to fold that and put it away. I just fold my laundry right on top of the dryer most of the time and that way I'm not carrying it into another room and then sometimes if we sit and watch TV while we're folding laundry we get distracted and it takes us a lot longer. So I mentioned this before in other videos, I usually just um, fold it right on top of the dryer and then just take it and put it away. And I try to do, um, if I'm doing multiple loads of laundry, I try to uh, just fold it right when it's done drying and that way I don't have too much to uh, fold and put away at one time. So I'll go ahead and put this away. And now that I've gotten ready and done my hair and everything, I'm going to wipe down the mirror, wipe down the sink, the toilet, use the toilet brush, and then I've also sprayed down the shower and then I always sweep the bathroom floor in here because um, my long hair. So I just um, do a quick cleanup. It usually only takes like two minutes. So um, I do that every day and that way the bathroom doesn't get you know too out of hand or anything. So now it's nice and clean in here and it just took a couple of minutes. So I usually after this um, continue with my day and do all the things that I need to um, depending on which day it is. Today I'll be recording videos, editing, and a bunch of other things and then I just do all of those things until my boys get home from school. This is my kitchen after dinner. It's not too bad. I try really hard to put the dishes in the dishwasher as I'm cooking and I've done a video about um, keeping the kitchen clean while cooking and I'll uh, link that below. I did that quite a while ago. And that's just the stove over there. I was recording this dinner, so sometimes when I'm recording, I can't always, um, you know, clean up right after myself. So I have a couple things out. But this will really only take me a few minutes to do. I'm going to um, put the rest of the dishes in the dishwasher, wash the things by hand that I need to, um, just wipe down the counters a little bit, 
and then I'll sweep the floor and take out the trash and I'm going to see how long it actually takes me to clean up. So this is what my kitchen looks like. My dishwasher is going so um, hopefully that isn't too noisy. So I basically just wiped down the counters, wiped down the stove top. It wasn't too bad today. Um, I wiped out the sink after I was done washing a couple dishes. I forgot to mention we all put our dishes right in the dishwasher when we're done eating after every meal, every snack. I've talked about that in other videos. But that is a great habit to get into. Um, my kids have been doing that since they were really young with their little plastic dishes. And that way I don't have to clean you know, everyone's dishes off the table. And it's really just a matter of making sure that while I'm cooking, I'm putting things away. Um, and then once we're done, I clean up right away. And it only took me less than 15 minutes. So. Um, if I let it sit there, things start to cake on and they're harder to clean and that way it's done and I can just enjoy my family for the rest of the evening.